All right, we made it to Lily Cove City. This is part 27 of Alpha Sapphire. We don't use these. Oh, that's not a mark. We don't use marts either. Um, so yeah, uh, first thing we're gonna do is fight Brendan because we are. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna lead with. We'll probably find lead with Piscato. Um, in theory, he might actually have that starter evolved. He does not in the normal games. Uh, so we're gonna take this fight at the very start of the video. And uh, if he gives us a free heal, we'll, we will reset on it. Because I think this fight is optional. You have to do it to access the department store and the original game. But of course, in a no Marts run, we're not going to bother doing that. Uh, but the move to leader, I am kind of interested in maybe using. And I believe this is actually the last possible fight you can have with Brendan or May in the original game. I don't even think you can trainerize them. You might be able to trainerize them, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, we got the nice city background music. Oh, you got a swallow now! Conveniently, we led with or a spark. Gonna aerial ace. Spot resist. I fed yeah, there we go. Now you're leveling up. And that, that nice defense, impish nature that is making you not kill stuff, but hey, whatever. Five damage. Look at that. The, the, the progress that Magnemite has made over these last couple of parts. So pleased. So pleased with the lad. He's done me proud. He's done me proud. Level th and now he's now he's my favorite level in the game. Level 33. What's in their flash cannon? What? Flash cannon. Get out, magnet bomb. Get out, magnet bomb. Flash cannon. It is 80 base power, right? That's a good. And using the good thing. mag cargo. We will switch out from that. We're going to go into part. And I suppose we may as well mega evolve. I don't really see a reason not to. Certainly don't have Mega anything else to use. Uh, we will, however, need to... Actually, we can use either Mud Shot or Muddy Water. I think I'm going to go Mud Shot, though. Just because, A, it's more accurate, I think. And, B, uh, we need to start making room for Earthquake, which I'm pretty sure he's going to learn. I'm pretty sure he learns it in the mid-40s. And he's kind of about to be in the mid-40s. So. Shoot him with some Mud. Uh, Fire Rock is such a bad type. <laughs> Fire Ground, however, is a fantastic type uh, if you have the ability to be immune to the water. <laughs> 43. It might be 43. Okay, no, maybe it's 44. I'm pretty sure, though, that it's mid-40s. So. Uh, we can go into Captain Toad, or we can go back into Magneton, which is what we would prefer to do. Waylord, and hopefully does not have 250 HP at this point. We're going to spark you a few times. Ah, oh, quick claw. I don't know if we're naturally faster or not. We probably are. Using Amnesia, fortunately, fortunately for the first time, fortunately, that spark is physical. Oh, look at that. Two quick claw activations at once. Ah, uh, goodness. I remember when I had quick claw activated against me, like... Literally six times in a row with my cousin Scizor. And I was like, okay, quick claw. No longer does quick claw count as a hacks item claw. Because it just works six times in a row. Like, the chance is too high for it to work for it to be a hacks item. Which, I don't even think hacks item claws is like a thing anymore. Look at that, guys. Round of applause. Brendan finally learned how to evolve into his final form starter. Too bad it is still going to get waxed by a spell. I think so anyway. I wonder if he... I didn't notice if he had a Mega Ring or not. That would be kind of surprising if he did. Uh, nope. No Mega Swampert here. Just a Wing Attack. Oh, it didn't die though. It didn't die. Slam and Slam misses because Slam is a terrible attack. We're just going to Quick Attack because we can't... Okay, well, I should really should use the attack. Really should attack. Really should pack. Yes, we're gonna be the leading pack very soon. All right, so here's the Katsuki one to learn Shadow Ball. Uh, we do get stab on it. It is 80 base power, um, but I kind of like her move set as is. Um, we don't have any other 
Psychic attacks, knockoff is of course going to be pretty nice. Uh, and I like the priority of sneak, and I like having power gems, so I think I'm going to actually askew Shadow Ball. And I am gains a level that is useless. So we'll get to see now if we actually have to keep this battle or not. If not, then I guess you guys got to see me do it, so whatever. I mean, there's literally a Pokemon Center like five steps to my right, or to my left. Good. Go home. That's that's how we beat the game. I, I like to imagine that's like completely unrelated to whatever. So cool. No free heal, so that's good. What was this? That's the music. That's right. Is there someone up there? No, it was not. Museum. This is the department store, which is actually the first department store we've had since 4th gen, now that I think about it. There has not been one since 4th gen, because, well, no, 5th gen had Shopping Mall 9, but that, eh, that almost doesn't count. It's like one big, like, open air thing, kind of. Anyway, here's the Move the Leader house. Oh, hi there, Team Aqua. Okay. I'm willing to trust that people in here aren't going to heal me in this town because there's a Pokemon Center. If I wanted a full heal, I'd go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, here's a guy who I used to check in with every day. And he gives me a Rothberry. And that's kind of nice. We have a way to get back up here. There's two guys doing stuff. I believe this is where we get rest and we can start that's gonna be very helpful I think there we go all right we got rest so I can give this to whoever I want really and then th th that will allow them to uh, restore HP and I'm actually very very much thinking about giving it to Magneton because I am kind of using him as uh, you know Swampert's kind of the tank but Swampert's got a uh, likes to hold his Megastone, so uh, Magneton, however, is definitely free to hold a Chesto Berry and pop a nice Chesto Rest, or just Rest and then Blue Flute. So, and of course, that's HP recovery that we can get back uh, with uh, PP. So I think that's who we're going to put it on, um, in the same way we're probably going to get Hirondel, uh, we're probably going to do what, Fly over Peck, and then I don't know if I want... I want to teach him Roost. I also kind of want to teach him Steel Wing. Um, quick Attack is probably like not necessary because he's already so fast. Uh, I do want to kind of want to teach him Steel Wing. Steel Wing's not 100% not accurate though. Uh, hmm. Aerialize has less max PP. Hmm. I think I might just start using Wing Attacks. And whenever it gets to zero, I'll throw a Roost on there. I don't know, something like that. Uh, if I absolutely really wanted to, I could still also go and grab Latias and use that for Fly Temper. Oh, hi right there. Um, Poke Flute, that would actually be useful if you could uh, really use it, but you can't. <laughs> uh, there's probably a Heart Scale somewhere in this area. And yeah, there's our next goal, and there's actually a PP up right beside the entrance, so that's cool. Yeah, I wonder if the Master Ball is missable in this game, because I'm pretty sure it's actually missable in, um... Well, that seems weird to be getting a regular playing Pokeball at this point in the game, but we are. I'm pretty sure the Master Ball is actually missable in RS. Okay, heart scale far away from the actual shoreline, but fair enough. Again, I'm probably not going to use heart scales unless it's somehow the game starts deciding, oh, it now wants to be really hard now. What is this? No. 
think that guy is just there until we actually clear out the Timaqua hideout. Did we talk to you? I don't think we did. 101 skating. Is that supposed to be a Dalmatian reference? Uh, is this the hotel? Yeah! Oh, Wooly of Wooly Cove. Is this the guy who won't... And he doesn't want you to walk in front of the TV? Yeah! Hey, there's vending machines and the guest lobbies. So this is where Game Freak is, I believe, right? They're all around this room. Is that a GameCube? No, it's just the safe. <laughs> you know, the GameCube itself kind of looked like a safe, so... Uh, evidently, if Game Freak isn't here, they're not here to post game. Uh, I did hear something about you get a special secret base decoration if you show one of the members of Game Freak a poke that was from the original Ruby and Sapphire. I think that's pretty cool. You get to bring them all the way through, and when they're back to their home region, you get something for it. So, that's pretty cool. We're going to go in here. We're not going to enter contests. But we are going to find people. Muscular things. Looks like nothing in here. Uh, I think this is the one with all the siblings. Yeah. There's four of them because it was supposed to point out Pocket Puffs. Oh, uh, yeah. It's the uh, me things, right? Yeah, this is supposed to point out how, hey, you can link up the Game Boy Advance with uh, four, pe four people. Uh, not right now. Not only are they quadruplets, you dress them the exact same way. That's not nice. this title? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the post game for this game is like yet. I severely doubt there's anything in there for us to grab. But I know there was an item down here. What do you have to say? Yeah, I, wa I want to do contests, but it would just uh, waste time. So we need to finish the game. Here's the elderly couple. That lighthouse is much bigger than I remember it being. And there's also a Maxwell Bell. Could there be something on the other side? No. You know what would be really nice? If, like, right here is where you got the Amphrosite. I would appreciate that for reasons. But I don't think it is. Since I like, guess since it's not glowing, it obviously is not. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Um, I guess we're... I guess we'll teach the fly. Feels like it's a rest. I kind of really want to use these packs on some stuff. But I think we're leveled up high enough that I can, I can afford to waste 31 packs. And, um, at the same time, there's not really anything else we need to do. There's nothing we really need to go fly and get. So. In that respect, we may as well move on to the Team Aqua hideout. So, yeah. Uh, we're only, yeah, we're only 15 minutes in, so I guess we gotta keep doing something, guys. So I guess that means we're gonna charge into Team Aqua hideout. Cool. Oh, my. Okay. Can't land on the sides. That's what this song is very similar to. This song 
is very similar to, I think it's Secret Base Zone from uh, Sonic Advance 1. Yeah, Sonic Advance 1. I always thought these two songs were very similar. I kind of want to like... Yeah. At some point I want to like... Inter if I can remind myself, I will interject this with said music like right now. Uh, when I first played the game on the uh, GBA, they sounded similar. What's going on, people? Oh, oh, I know what we have to do now. Oh, right. We have to do that, too. Derp! Um, so, yeah, there's actually a lot more stuff we have to do. We're getting the sequence of events here, are we? Uh, so to that end, uh, I guess we are going to be teaching Fly to Swallow right now. So here we go, we're going to teach Swallow to swallow Fly. Uh, I kind of hate that we're wasting all of I'm teach the rest of the Magneton. I'll teach it when we run out of... Uh, when we run out of Sparks, which will not, not, not Magneton. Magneton can't fly. It is indeed vulnerable to ground attacks. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of Peck because there's really no need to have four flying moves. Despite wasting all the PP. Because like the things we could kill with Peck, like I would want to fly back there to get to them, so. And yeah, let's let's check out Fly guys. First time I've used Fly on Oros. Yeah, you can fly to the safari zone. Let's let's try flying to Route 120. You guys don't know how much I would love it if this actually like took you straight to my secret base. That would be super close. Okay, no, it takes. That's not even helpful. It's like right past the thing. Okay, next question. Can you? No, because I quit fly right at the end. Uh, Route 121. Let's see where that puts you. I think that puts you at the little berry field in the middle, which is actually kind of helpful. That's close enough to my secret base. I think. Yeah, there's the berry field. Okay, you have to like do the screen transition. Oh, I almost got a fight right there. Um, you have to do the screen transition, but it's close enough to, to the secret base. I am pleased. This is where my secret base will be in the future. Just nice tucked in between things right there. Very pleased with it. Very pleased. But anyway, let's get back to get back to flying. Where are we gonna fly? First place we need to fly is at well actually we need to go to Safari Zone. So we can get to Mount Pyre. Yeah. And now we can actually look at the map. See I haven't been able to actually look at the map technically. So yeah, we can fly. Look at all these things we can fly. We can now go back to Mount Chimney, by the way, and or and get down from there. I think. No. I'm actually afraid what happens if we fly to Mount Chimney. Oh yeah, that move too. I thought that was called. I thought that was changed to be known as the move reminder, or move relearner. Something besides that. No. Okay. Oh wait. wait. No, that is the move reminder. Okay, apparently there's a move tutor there, which I'm going to assume, based on the fact that you can find Dagon in there, I'm going to assume is the Draco Meteor tutor, temporarily. Because Draco Meteor was not in this game, although I think actually, I want to say like some dummy data for Draco Meteor exists in, in uh, the original RS. But anyway. Oh, we can just straight fly to Southern Island, apparently anyway. Maybe? Apparently not. Oh well. We can ever fly to Sea Mava. But I don't think we can access anything new without having died. So, oh well. 
okay. Oh, I guess that's what it does. That's the point of the route marker things. So cool. I can't fly. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can fly the new model. I just can't actually go inside. I was about to feel a little bit stupid. But uh, we already got usage out of our Magneton, so. Yeah. Alright, anyway, where we're actually going to go is Mount Pyre. And if we worked on this video, we probably should work on this video. Because all, otherwise, all we did was fight Brendan, be pleased that he didn't full heal me. Uh, yeah, last two rival fights, Brendan did not give us full heal. Very pleased with him. So, Steven decided to give us a free heal. I'm so glad I just ran past that and didn't think about it. Oh, hey, so here's the here's the route marker here. What? That was just straight down. Anyway. Uh, more or less is straight down. Loving the sea encounter rate. It is so low. It is excellent. Uh, I will take that with a spark. Hopefully it kills it. I just think it will have a Yes! Trying to blow through some sparks so we can get access to rest on Magneton. Plus four defense. Yeah, I think I'm thinking I'm liking him building him in a bulky build. Especially since we did end up with an impish one, which kind of blows, but... Oh well, so here's Mount Pyre. <laughs> Even in the first floor, there's wild fights. Let's go! Wait. Uh, okay, maybe it was just a rare fight. Anyway. I feel like Dust Skull was the ruby, more common in ruby. If not outright exclusive. Anyway. Uh, let's throw Hirondel back at the front. How are there th Not that I mind. That sounded like a shuppet, by the way. Oh, there's items here. Ultra Ball. Uh, I think the only other thing we're going to catch in the playthrough is going to be with the Master Ball. Okay, we straight up can't use the Dazzle Machine. I'm going... Oh, there's hits. Um, I'm going to assume that means that there are no... And here's a Sableye. Uh, we can probably whack him with uh, flying moves. The lung's gonna get Willowis. Actually, the no, Willowis will be absolutely fine. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, let's go for wing attacks. That did not do enough damage. Not enough damage. Timid Tola, why? Why are you timid? Uh, we're gonna go for a yellow flute. You know, it's probably not going to do a KO. Uh, I suppose I could fly. Depends on how much this does. Eh. I'm going to be teaching you Roost, so. Oh, crap. No. Oh, no. Ow, 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 ow. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, no, we're not. Swallow's amazing. Oh, it's not. Okay, kill it with a wing attack. Ah, <laughs> uh, she needs to can't shadow sneak. Oh, Hirondel. You warrior. Tank and power gym, my, my. Um, and now you desperately need <laughs> Roost. Um, you desperately need Roost, and I really don't want to waste your wing attacks. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and try to fight this guy. So I can get some use out of these wing attacks. Hopefully on some fighting guys. Yeah, my choke. Exactly the guy I want to see. You can take it, Hirondo. Get that wing attack. Oh no. What is this? What is this nonsense to swallow not killing things? Oh, well, whatever. We do have revives to use, I suppose. Um, we can go into Katsuki, I guess. Probably. 
Seems like an okay time to dial up a Zen headbutt. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and use a revive there. Got seven of them. Revive, unlike Rare Candy, actually brings them back with decent HP left, so. Super Repel. This is not the music I remember from Outfire. I'm going to Dust Skull. I have not seen a Banat yet. So, hmm. I was like, pretty sure it was Banat for. Not ban it. Um, first form. Yeah, you can see there's the disc shirts. Uh, first form, bloody um, what's his name? Drop it. There we go. Goodness, get those people away. Yeah, shut it. There we go. Uh, do I trust your own deli against this thing? Defenses are pretty bad. It's gonna frisk me and find a soap scarf. Uh, I'll, I'll trust that it has it. Oh, it's gonna withdraw. Okay. Nothing in a Zatu. Okay. Probably has nothing to hit me with, I guess. It's all ghost attacks. There we go, Swallow. Two hit KO things. Waste that wing attack, DP. Because I need to teach you roost. Which uh, is a bump benefit that uh, was not in the original game. There was no roost in Gen 3. Hopefully it's either kills or just has nothing to use as well. And it just kills. Good. Works for me. It's level 42. So the next gym is going to be Psychic. So we probably should be using Akatsuki. Now that I think about it, there's a lax incense. That is the one that makes people miss, right? I believe so. I am actually gonna go ahead and give that to Swallow. Because Silk Scarf's not doing us any good right now. So there's like a lot of trainers here that we can fight. Some of which may have sea incense. Some of which may have ghost types or sableye to prey upon. Which would be nice. And yeah, I do not remember there being very many ghost types. Yeah, there's a wild shepherd, so yeah. Apparently they're both in here, they're not version exclusive anymore. Um, or at least, I don't know. I was pretty sure they were version, versioned. Okay, looks like yeah, there's two ways to go. Yeah, it's two Duskulls and two Shuppets, so I'm gonna just assume that they're not version exclusive at all anymore. In any way. Okay, this is the exit. Um, it's, I believe that's where we want to go because we want to go to the summit. Let's get more shuppets. You know, I think I'm actually just gonna kill the wild shuppets. I mean, I may as well. The dust skulls might be a little bit beefier, so we won't kill those. But I do need to go through wing attacks, so why not? Black Shuppets, they're decently high level, it's not awful experience, and I need to waste the moves anyway, so, fine. Sounds like a deal to me. Alright, and there's actually more, more here, there's a, what appears to be a rich boy. Oh, there's a TM. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if we can kill the Dust Guys or not. I'll skull it something if HP is really low. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Alright, never mind. It has Pursuit, which doesn't do too much damage, but, you know, whatever. I think I'll just stick to killing the Shuffets instead. Uh, okay, so we can jack this TM, which is Shadow Wall. In front of someone's grave, that's a little bit... Pokemon Meow and Me. Okay, thanks for your TM. 
And what is it? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say Banatites. Okay. Never mind then. I was thinking either Banatite or Gengarite. And that's like, nope, Metachemite. Okay. Yeah, this song. Now this is the song I remember from Mount Mount Fire. Okay, we have a TM up there. I believe Wild Vulpix appear on this route, and I think they may know Will O Wisp, which would be a good way to get Swallow burned. But I'm not. And actually, you know, with Roost. Being able to sh shake off that residual damage, that's actually really, hmm, that's very tempting. Speaking of Will-O-Wisp, there's the TM for it, which we can teach to Sableye, but it doesn't have Prankster, so probably not going to bother. Oh, we don't have on, we don't have the Dazzle Machine on. Oh, let me go ahead and run back down. Oh, whatever, we'll, well, probably. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a Space Jump offered, so... Just make sure there's nothing down here. Uh, I'm not gonna walk back to the grass. Good enough for me. There's something up this way. Probably in those, uh, whatever you want. I guess they're tombstones. Are they tombstones? Maybe. Max Po, alright. So I see Max Potion now when I think of the card. Because I'm pretty sure I've played the card a lot more than I've actually used the item. Mostly because Max Potion is not called Lemonade. Or uh, Fresh Water. Ultra Ball. Ether, nice. That's another 42 <laughs> mock punches right there. That's what that is. Vulpix. I don't think we can kill Vulpix with a wing attack. Severely doubt that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to consider that now because with Roost. That sort of mitigates the HP drain, and that would definitely send Swallow into Overdrive for killing stuff really well. Uh, but as for right now, we're not going to use Swallow at all. Oh, the situation calls for it. Uh, we're going to start out with, I guess, yeah, we're going to start out with um, Magneton. If we have a chance, we'll spark and try to get those used. Otherwise, we'll just uh, jump into you. And as we learned earlier, Grimer can learn Mud Shot or Mud Bomb. So that is not a thing we want to leave you in on here still under the level of some of these other guys. Uh, we could go into Hirondel, Predicting Ground, but I think Breathing is going to be just as fun. Get in there, Captain Toad. Minimize, that's problematic. Wait a minute, what are we going to hit this guy with? Why have I gone into Breloom? I no longer have the, um... The headbutt either. Um... Problems exist, and it might have Liquid Ooze, or... No, it's got what? Stench and Sticky Hold? I think it's the Um... We're going to try a Sky Uppercut, see how much it does. If it can hit. If it'll hit. It does indeed hit. Do some good damage. That's pretty good damage. Uh, the fact that it's now minimized twice means I'm not really going to want to take my chances. Let's get Poison Hill up, and then I think let's just go ahead and get into Rondell. Hopefully he doesn't do anything uh, terribly offensive, although he probably will. If he wants to use, like, Smog or something, that would be pretty cool. Sludge Bomb, that's very offensive. I hope that does not kill. I was actually almost hoping that would poison. Uh, we are going to Aerial Ace and cut through that plus four evasion. Uh, another thing we can also use to get around evasion, I just remembered, is Akatsuki, who has Keen Eye, because Keen Eye now negates evasion increases, which is by default, so. 
So I probably should remember that. Or the future stuff starts doing things. I kind of want to throw it. I kind of want to throw a healing item and swallow, but it's like we're about to teach him roost, so don't do that. And yeah, it's kind of started up this video like stalling around, and then there was actually stuff to do. So whoops. All right, here's a Carvana now. Uh, I'd like to kill it, but I'm gonna take damage because it's gonna be faster. <clears throat> Goodness. And then Spark is also going to get me hurt from uh, Rough Skin, because it is for some reason a contact move because it's an electrified tackle, so I guess that makes sense. Poison Fang. Well, that wouldn't have done any damage at all to Magneton. At all. So, oh well. Good on you, mate, for predicting the Breloom. You're still dead. That's a penalty for unnecessary rough skin. Man, where would we be without poison heal? We will indeed switch into Trike. Take on level 35 Mightyena with the Magneton. Oh no, scary face. That might actually be the least useful move we could have used. Because, you know, my punch. Kind of hoping he's gonna learn T Bolt sometime relatively soon. That would be great. Uh, is there anything on this way? Oh, there's a Mega Stone. Come on, Banatite. Yeah. Guessed wrong the first time. Got it right this time. I mean, it's, it's Mount Pyre. There's gotta be a Ghost Mega Stone. Come on. What the? Oh, Chingling. I was like, why was there a bell? It's like, oh, Chingling. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like zooms in. If you really want to see your character up close and personal, who you know. By the way, you can't customize. Oh, I just noticed the. Uh, ah, we can see the. Uh, that's kind of nice. We can see the dazzling machine. Not only is it bunny ears, it is also bunny earmuffs. Yeah, earmuffs. Oh, there's goodies over this way. Maybe. Probably. Likely. Definitely. Zinc. All right. Let's go ahead and throw that on on Magneton, since we are building up Magneton to be a tank right now. Uh, Carbos is going to go on Captain Toad? Yeah, Captain Toad. What? what? Ooh, we cannot use Carbos on Captain Toad. Uh, let's throw it on... Uh, I'll throw it on... I'll throw it on Magneton. Zinc also on Magneton. So that means either... Either Captain Toad has over 100 speed EVs, or his EVs are capped. Next, we can find out uh, at some point. So, do we want to leave it here? I mean, nah, we're just going to just kill Captain Toad. I forget if we actually fight Archie up here or not. I don't think we do. At least, not in the original. But anyway, we'll. Uh, oh, there's one more fight. Still don't really trust Magneton with that much HP. Uh, I'm no higher level than it. Um, still don't trust it. Once again, it's the least useful move I could have used. Makes me really wish I'd just stayed in. Um, just not punch though. Alright, 
Sableye joins the level 40 club. Takedown. We don't want takedown. Just no. We don't we do not want takedown. It has recoil damage. That's a no-no. Golbath. That should be like the perfect thing to waste our sparks on. <laughs> I cannot think of a more perfect thing to waste sparks on. So there we go. I'm, I definitely press two against Golbat. Aha! Poison Fang! What, what, what was that prediction? Yeah, we got the spark paralysis too. Alright. Alright, just one spark left. I'll go ahead and teach him rest. So that he can begin to fulfill his role as being a tank. And what we will actually do for that is go over here again to a wild fight. Chingling would be actually perfect, but that would involve us using the creep thing. Alright, so let's use rest. Everyone can learn rest, but we're gonna give it to. I could either give it to Magneton or to Swampert, but again, because Magneton can actually use it in conjunction with Chestoberry. Uh, whereas Swampert's going to hold the holding Swampert type. Uh, we're just going to ditch Spark, because we kind of have a free move, basically. Get Rest on there. And I'm not going to bother using a Chestoberry on this, because we can just run from the fight and then, yeah, use the Blue Poop. At least I hope so. So anything, basically anything but a Vulpix is fine. Um, Metatite is also kind of eh. But I'm willing to take the risk that it won't use a fighting move, so. We shall see. We shall see. Don't use a fighting move. Come on. Be a, be a nice guy. Get that HP back. Yeah. High jump kick! That is not a fighting... That is not... <laughs> That's not gone well. That's not gone well. They have high jump kick at this level. Right, get out of there! So... <laughs> Mental note. Do not try to set up rest against the guy. Those guys. Blue flute. Yeah, I woke up. Trying that again. Against not something that has super effective base 130 power stab moves. See, the nice thing is I knew I'd be all, I knew I would live it, because I was 30. Goodness, that's, that's actually pretty, pretty savage as it is. Having, uh, having sturdy, sturdy rest Chestleberry. Just take a hit, endure it. No, stop having these such things. Give me a chingling or something. Actually, you know what would probably be better if I just ran back and did it against one of the ghosts. As much as I don't want to do that. So chingling would be perfect. Whatever. I will go back and rest up against one of those. Or, you know, one of them out here would be fine, too, if they use the out here. There we go. That'll work. Alright, gonna rest up. And then hopefully this thing doesn't do anything. Like status move would be great. Hex. Okay, that actually is gonna do some decent damage. Try to rest up on things and it just doesn't work. Don't want to waste another one. I kind of want to waste another one. So I know these guys can, can just do stupid stuff. Not stuff like base 130 power stab moves. <laughs> Twice in a row! At least that one wasn't super effective. Truck cages can't get a break. I should probably try it against Vulpix, because it'll probably do something stupid. As opposed to, you know, roast me with fire. But the fact that it could roast me with fire makes me apprehensive about it. Alright, so run back in here. Get into a fight with a ghost who won't wreck me. Was this thing... I'm trying to think what else, where else this track played. 
Trying this again. We're wasting so many rests. So what I could do is just go with Petalorg Woods get into a fight with the bloody Cascoon and we get Stop using Hex! Holy snot! Quit it! Trick it just can't win, man. Go ram it. I want to freaking heal up to like near full HP. Stop using base 135 power moves on me. Stab. It's very annoying. Cut it out. Let me find a Duskull. Duskull will, has less offensive powers, so. Use anything but Hex. Hex is literally the worst thing you could use against me. I mean, in terms of damage. This part has gone way over time, but whatever. Yeah, Shuppets are mean buttholes and want to use Hex, so I'm not a big fan of this. You guys don't know how tempted I am to just creep up on that Duskull. There we go, there's a Duskull. Alright, Duskull. You know you're one of my best buddies. So don't, don't do big damage to me. Just let me rest, do a status, do like Curse or something. Or like Will-O-Wisp. Do a status move. Be a pal, Duskull. Yeah! Alright. See, Duskull, Duskull's my friend. I can always count on Noir and his entire line. What great guys. Alright, so try to case back to full HP. Finally! Here on the up front. Uh, should we go ahead and do Magma or Aqua this video? Kind of want to because I'm probably going to end the recording session after this video. So let's do it. Go ahead and we'll have about an hour part to end the day for me, which is whatever. Anyway, part links are just completely erratic. Why am I not on the bike? Alright, let's see who we're gonna put up front. We need to do. Uh, I already blue fluted. So yeah, Magneton now is like. doesn't have to worry about HP. Um, I'm gonna still hold on to Hirondel's uh, wing attacks. He has 22 of them left, and I feel like they can still have good use. Before we throw a roost on him so anyway let's go up here and watch Archie steal one or both red orbs I'm pretty sure that like everyone in the world predicted that the red and blue orbs would like be ground on Kyogre's mega stones so Archie grabs the blue orb Thanks for telling me your last, your your next uh, location. Although we knew it anyway, so. And he's got a torpedo again. Cool. That sounds like a thing that I would really like to throw a bolt switch at. Slash. Resisted. Bolt switch. Hopefully dead. Just, just dead would be good. Nice. Finally, caught as a level 6 Magnemite. What progress he has made. So, so do we grab the red orb? Is that what happens here? Thanks for reminding me for the third time game. Alright, uh, this 
this guy, this is the guy who t tells you the legend, so let's see if he wants to tell you again. Sure, how has it changed? Yeah, notice how he said that the opposite color orb is the one that calms them down. So obviously there's going to be, you know, the other one is going to agitate them and make them, you know, primal revert and stuff. So anyway, this this part went on a little bit too long, but that's fine. Uh, see you guys next video for, yeah, we're going to use fly from here and uh, hopefully get Swallow taught Roost so we can start recovering HP too. And with that, we'll have most of our characters, characters, most of our pokes will actually be able to recover themselves. Captain Toad, of course. Um, Yorondel and Trekkay will all be able to restore HP, so we'll only need to use healing items on Sableye and Swampert, which will be very helpful in finishing the game. So see you guys next time for, yeah, watching submarines get stolen and probably going into secret bases. Or, uh, not secret bases. Team Aqua bases. Litter days. <laughs>